what's up guys i'm going to try to make this video as simple as i can but um i'm going to try to teach you guys how to disassemble all of this right here just in case you want to sell it for parts on ebay or in case something breaks now you know how to disassemble it because um for example this little rod if you do this without knowing what you're doing you're probably going to break this rod this rod is really fragile and one of the main reasons why i'm making this video is because i'm starting to see more people sell striker parts on ebay but they're all broken because like they're not disassembling them correctly so first thing you want to do is take off these two screws they're on both sides and this little one right here and these aren't the original screws for the striker i just put these because the original screws are like these star screws and i don't know they're just a pain in the ass so i just put like regular screws on here Alright, so now that you took these two screws off, this is the part where a lot of people break this little rod. Um, so what you want to do is, let's see, I don't know if you could see, but there is a little C-clip right there. And you got to be really careful with that C-clip because that thing always flies everywhere. And it's really easy to lose and they're impossible to find. They don't sell these C-clips in any store. I don't even know any store that would sell these C-clips. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try pointing this the opposite way first of all, pointing outside, I'm trying to rotate it right there. Be careful where you aim this thing because this clip goes flying. I've lost these clips like three times and they don't sell them anywhere. So yeah. Alright so there it is. It's really small. You want to make sure you do not lose this. And now you're going to try to get the little rod out. Let's see if I could show you guys what I'm doing. All right, you want to press the little rod down. And there it is. You want to put these two together. And now you want to get this little um rod out. I'm not sure what exactly what they're called. It's like an axle, but um yeah. Let's see. I used to have the perfect tool for this thing right here, but um I lost it. So I'm going to be using a Allen wrench right now. And something that I do want to point out is whenever you take this rod out for the first time, it's going to be hard. Mine is going to be easier than normal because I've already taken this rod out before. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'm going to make it look easy, but really it's a bit hard. You might have to like put it in a vise or something. Let's see. Sometimes it's easier the other way. You want to be careful using pliers whenever you pull it out because you do not want to scratch this because um, you want to keep this smooth so it's easy for it to take off and on. So yeah, you don't want to scratch it with the pliers so just be careful. And there it is. I just oiled this up yesterday so that's all WD-40 so don't worry about that. But um, yeah, and there it is. If you need to disassemble this or if you want to sell it, that's the safest way to do it without breaking anything and now let's say your rod breaks which probably will happen if you mess up doing this um you, what you want to do is take off this little rod right there same exact thing that we did with this and same goes with this um this one is really hard to take off since i've already taken this off before it's really easy for me it's all loose but um it's gonna be hard like i'm telling you and you want to make sure you're careful with this. You really want to treat it like a baby because this part is really easy for it to break. And if it breaks, good luck getting a new one. Alright, there it is. 
it's really common for this little piece right here to break on the rod same with right here they're really thin and if you need to take the trigger off it's another c-clip and then you just push down on the rod there's nothing to it but um yeah that's how you take that off if you're bored and you're just thinking about doing this just to experiment don't do it because it's really easy for it to break if you break something then you're going to be all sad you're not going to know where to buy it all because you were trying to do it for fun don't do this for fun only do this if you're planning on selling um selling it in parts or if you have to replace something another thing i want to talk about is the trigger mechanism if anything in here ever breaks just send it to an expert um wyvern's creations is a guy that really knows how to work on these um, send it to him contact him or something but don't ever try working on this yourself it's really dangerous this is what holds the string and if you mess up on it it could let go of the string and hit your fingers or cause an accident so let experts experts work on these only but um yeah let's see that's pretty much it the hard part out of everything is putting these two little rods back in i'm just gonna fast forward everything and put it back together this part right here is pretty hard because you kind of have to force it but you really don't want to force it because it's easy for this rod to break oh that was pretty easy right there Also, I always cover this up with electrical tape just so it won't slide around because the first time I took this off was really hard but then all of a sudden this rod became loose so I just put electrical tape on the side so it won't fall out. Now the hardest part is lining up this little rod right here with the actual trigger mechanism hole. You kind of have to move the trigger around. And you do need needle nose pliers for this. It just makes it way easier. I mean, it is hard, but um, it helps. Okay, I want to make sure I don't mess up. Come on, go in, go in. Damn it. Let's see, go in. Yes, all right, got it in. Now, you want to make sure you block this with something so it doesn't fall back out. It's really easy for it to fall back out. All right, now that we got the rod in there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this Allen wrench pressing down so it doesn't fall back out and just have it resting on the allen wrench because you want to keep that little rod raised in order to put in the c-clip you really want to use the skinniest needle dose pliers that you have um hopefully it reaches All right, it's not completely in, but I did get it somewhat in. So I'm just gonna press it with something until it clicks. It's in now. That took like freaking so many tries. I had to make that introduction with like, you have to put the needle nose pliers in like freaking 10 times. And now it's pretty much just cake from here. You just put on the screws again. Alright guys, and that's pretty much it. You do want to tighten these screws as much as you can. 
just so this isn't all floppy and loose because this is what holds your string and you do not want that happening and like I said I am going to put electrical tape here because um, this rod is pretty loose right now just so it doesn't fall out and yeah guys I will mention it again these rods were hard to take out the first time so um yeah I made it look easy because mine are loose and already worn um, but it will be hard to take off these rods um, but yeah guys and um, don't do this for fun I'll say it again um, only do this if you have like if you need to replace something or if you're gonna like be selling parts individually because I've had people before disassemble it for fun and they're like oh I don't know what to do like I already made a video on how to do it I can't really help you more than that unless you like send it to me but um yeah don't do it guys don't play with this don't like disassemble it as soon as you watch this video because you're bored um it's not worth it because all these parts are discontinued and if you break something um it's gone forever this is not a toy but yeah guys um thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you want more videos like these and see ya